Try these tips if you want stronger erections. For staying harder. Longer. If you have a penis, then you know it has a tendency to be a little, uh, temperamental sometimes. When you want it to stay hard during sexual activity, it goes soft. Then, when you finally manage to sustain an erection, you end up ejaculating too quickly. According to a study, 85% of men who own a penis and are between the ages of 20 and 39 say they always or almost always can get and maintain an erection. This means that 15% of men in the prime of their life have a hard time getting hard at least occasionally. The same study found that among men between the ages of 40 and 59, only 20% said they could get a healthy enough erection for sex most of the time. Why do so many people struggle to get it up? Generally speaking, poor erections are caused by one of five things, decreased blood flow, abnormal hormone levels, medication, abnormal nerve function, and the mental component. Tips to help you stay hard. Try a cock ring. Did you know that a cock ring can help you maintain an erection? This O-shaped toy fits around your penis and helps keep blood in the shaft where you want it. A cock ring also helps prevent venous leakage, a form of erectile dysfunction where blood flows to your penis but has trouble staying there. Giddy, a new cock ring-like gadget designed to treat ED, may also help guys with venous leakage maintain stronger erections. There are four types of cock rings, all of which can help in the erection department, adjustable rings, stretchy rings, vibrating rings, and solid rings. Work your Kegel exercises. The pelvic floor muscles play a role in sexual activity. Contractions of the pelvic floor muscles, called Kegels, help produce an increase in the pressure of the penis and the rigidity of the penis. In simpler terms, performing Kegel exercises, where you contract and release your pelvic floor muscles, can help strengthen your erections. Get more exercise. Blood flow is the key to a healthy erection, and there's nothing that encourages blood flow like aerobic exercise. Not only does it keep you in shape, but it also boosts the body's nitric oxide, which helps maintain erections. While running is great, try to avoid cycling if you can. Endurance cyclists who spend a long time on their bike seats may have more trouble with ED. This is because bike riding can compress the pudendal artery, which provides blood flow to the penis. Using a special bike seat, a split seat along with wearing special shorts can help prevent ED. Watch what you eat. Foods that are bad for the heart are also bad for the penis, which makes sense since the heart and penis both depend on blood flow to function properly. According to a 2020 study, the Mediterranean diet, which includes fruits, whole grains, heart-healthy fats like nuts and olive oil, red wine, and vegetables, is a good place to start. The link between the Mediterranean diet and improved sexual function has been scientifically established. Quit smoking. A 2015 literature review found that smokers are at a higher risk of developing erectile dysfunction than the rest of the population. There's also some evidence that smoking affects erection strength and size. In addition to damaging blood vessels, smoking may cause damage to penile tissue itself, making it less elastic and preventing it from stretching. We have yet to hear a better reason to quit. Try some weed. While some studies show that smoking weed will give you marijuana's version of whiskey dick, others suggest that cannabis use might actually improve sexual function. Marijuana affects everyone a little differently, so you'll have to experiment to see if it helps or hurts your erections. If you need help relaxing and getting out of your head, then a touch of the devil's lettuce might be just what your erection needs. Drink coffee. Though few things are worse for your erection than a cigarette habit, coffee can actually help you out below the belt. A study by the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston found that men who consumed the caffeine equivalent of two to three cups of coffee per day were less likely to suffer from erectile dysfunction than those who prefer to wake up with caffeine-free beverages. Get a vasectomy. If you're finished producing offspring or you're sure you don't want kids, consider investing in renovations at the sperm factory. 
The risk of contraceptive failure can be a big source of anxiety for some men, especially those who've had a birth control disaster or a scare in the past, says the director of the Sex and Marital Therapy Program at Northwestern University. That anxiety can, in turn, lead to erection problems and cause the same vicious circle that makes performance anxiety such a mood killer. But if there's no sperm, the risk of pregnancy is beyond minuscule. A properly performed vasectomy has an effectiveness rate of 99.9%. Depending on your insurance situation, the procedure typically costs between $0 and $1,000, according to Planned Parenthood. Get your testosterone levels checked. Low testosterone doesn't directly affect the mechanisms involved in your erection, but it does affect your libido, making it harder to get turned on and harder to get, well, hard. Stay faithful. It's common for penis owners who start having affairs to stop having erections. So common, in fact, that doctors who treat erectile dysfunction often ask their patients if they're getting any action on the side. Unless you're in an open or polyamorous relationship, you're bound to feel guilty when you have sex with your partner after you've been secretly getting it on with someone else. Guilt can turn to anxiety, and that can kill an erection. Reduce your risk of diabetes. Erectile dysfunction is common in people who have diabetes, especially type 2 diabetes. The disease hits the penis with a double whammy, it accelerates the process of arterial disease, and it slows the transmission of stimuli along nerves throughout your body. And trust us, a numb penis is not a happy penis. Take it easy when you're thrusting. One vigorously misplaced thrust is all it takes to rupture the corpora cavernosa, the elongated erectile chambers that run the length of your penis. Don't believe us. Try aiming your erect penis at the trunk of a tree, it's roughly the same density as your partner's pubic bone. Yawn a lot. Yawning and getting an erection are practically the same thing. They're both controlled by a chemical called nitric oxide released in the brain. It can either travel to the neurons that control mouth opening and breathing or go down the spinal cord to the blood vessels that feed the penis. Sometimes, it does both. That's why a big yawn can cause a tremor down under. Walk more. In one study, researchers found that men who walked just two miles a day had half the rate of erection problems of more sedentary men. 20 minutes of jogging or 30 minutes of weight training will work too. What's good for your heart health is good for the vasculature to your penis. Get plenty of sleep. Your penis needs as much shut-eye as it can get every night. While you sleep, you have between 3 and 5 hour long erections. They work to recharge your penis, keeping it well nourished with oxygenated blood. Theoretically, the more nocturnal erections you have, the more flexible your erectile tissue will become, and that may help keep erections strong as the years wear on. Take Amino Acids If you're dealing with mild erectile dysfunction, you might not need prescription medication to get your groove back. Amino acids L-citrulline and L-arginine are both known to improve sexual performance, and you can get them in pill or powder form. Try ED medication. If all else fails, there is ED treatment in the form of drugs. Viagra, the first ever oral treatment for erectile dysfunction, works for a few hours before its effects start to diminish. Then there's Cialis, which can aid your erections for up to 36 hours. That's why it's often referred to as the weekend pill. Stendra is the fast-acting option, it kicks into gear within 15 to 30 minutes of taking a pill. Try Trimix. If traditional oral ED medication isn't working, there's something called Trimix, where you inject the base of your penis with vasodilating agents. It's actually less painful than it sounds and is effective in over 90% of men with erectile dysfunction. Get a penile implant. If ED medication and lifestyle changes don't improve your sexual function, penile implant surgery can help you achieve the erections of your dreams. To help maintain a prolonged erection, it's advisable to avoid the following foods as much as possible, flax seeds and flax products, licorice, mint, alcohol, and trans fats. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. 
Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.